Hello, I've got myself a Insonic EPS sampler. This is the original EPS, which is a 13-bit sampler. It's a bit grainy, but I like it like that. I pretty much bought it because I wanted to buy a MIDI um, keyboard controller for my um, modular synthesizer, but um, found that just for a wee bit more, I can get this um, sampler instead, which is a lot of good fun. And I've only had it for, say, about half an hour, and already I'm, I've learnt to be rather childish with it, as you'll probably see. Um, oh, dog's come to say hello. Come on, Missy, go away. Come on, come on. Sit there and chill out, all right? Anywho, um, it's um, disc-based, so it does um, sweet bugger all unless you um, put in an operating system disc, which I'll do right now. It's got a vacuum fluorescent display, it's got SCSI, it's got the full complement of um, RAM as well, which is a very nice thing. Good old floppy disk, I'll just chuck that in right now. Uh, please insert, it's inserting, loading. Ticks over. Alright, now it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in a sample which is let's see how well you can see that synth strings so I'm just gonna pop that in move the camera to show you what I'm doing so I can actually look at what I'm doing as well uh, press the load button Batang. file one synth string click yes pick instrument button press that one there loading 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 Still loading. This is after all a floppy disk um, based system. I do have a whole bunch of SCSI drives which I will pop on and format and try that later. Okay, files loaded. I'm going to select it and um, here we go. We have strings. Anyway, Part, well, obviously being a sampler, this is a reason I got it because, you know, you can obviously sample anything into it, transpose it over an entire keyboard, and um, then you can play it. So I'm just going to press the sample button. It's asking for the OS disk again, so I'll just pull out that. Pop in the OS disk. Down on. And hit enter. Enter. Loading, 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 loading. Pick sample instrument, so I don't want to write over the string, so I'll pick the next bank. Alright. Got the microphone. SM58. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing's registering, so I can change the sample rate. 39k is fine enough. Fills the cutoff, 14. Don't know what that is. Input level, line, or mic. Let's make it mic, shall we? Go back to sample rate. Yak, 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 yak. Okay, it's um, metering. Just in case you didn't see it first time. Yak, yak, yak. Alright, let's just crank... Whoopsie. Crank that up a bit. One, one. Bit more. One, 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 one. Okay, okay, that shouldn't clip. Um, I'm just going to put this thing down because I'm going to have to be quick with that. Alright, move it. Stay there. You there? Alright. Now, I have this wonderful um, skill I can actually burp on cue. Um, I did mention earlier that I'm rather childish typical male sort of mentality, but um, pardon me while I gulp some air. Ready to sample. <coughs> Processing. Oh, this is... Oh. Shouldn't do this too often. It uh, wreaks havoc on my stomach. So it says play root key. So basically that note <coughs> plays it. Alright. You know, got a DeVita. Finna got a DeVita's not your thing. One octave higher. And chords, of course. Doesn't it make you want to throw up your lunch? Yes, that was a fun. You know you want one. <laughs> 